Hey, everybody, it's the Coats. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what ought to be a great matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the San Francisco 49ers. With that, let's get you out to Silicon Valley, Levi Stadium in Santa Clara, as we welcome in our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. From the host of Super Bowl 50 back in February of 2016, there's a look at the home of the 49ers, Levi Stadium in Santa Clara. The scene a short time ago, this crowd, they love their 49ers, and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room, and we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white line. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up. And instinctively, you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got the coffee spilled on me when I got nailed by the punt returner. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yeah, it's a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for the thank you for the notice. The veteran kicker Mason Crosby set to do the honors here. And we are underway from Santa Clara. This one fielded at the five. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. And they're led out by a guy who learned from one of the great ones in his first few years in Tom Brady. This is Jimmy Garoppolo. When you're a backup to one of the all-time great players, if you don't spend time picking that guy's brain or just watching and observing how he does things to increase your game, then you've wasted that time. I don't think Jimmy Garoppolo is that type of a player. I think those lessons learned have a chance to transmit themselves very well. Go, From the go, 32 here now, here's first and 10. Let's get it together, defense. Let's get it together. <laughs> now Garoppolo on the bootleg. And his throw is going to be incomplete. And for this offense, yellow highlighter around Trent Williams. As well there should be. A pro bowl, all pro type of a left tackle. So mobile, you can also see him as a tight end. This guy is a terrific football player. Here we go. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. All day, defense, all day, all day. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. One yard, the official pickup there, so it's going to set up third and nine. And this defensive line will be looking to control the point of attack. And that's what they've done throughout this season. This is a terrific unit. They play together very, very well, and they don't permit big plays to happen. Here we go, so here trouble we go. already Ready? here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. And from the gun, it's Garoppolo. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And this is going to result in another first down as the tackle's made at the Packers' 44-yard line. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them great way to get the game going here we go here we go here so we go. into Packer territory now here's first and 10 at the 44 yard line they'll run with Coleman on first down and this one goes nowhere losing yardage on the play back at the 46 a loss of two there second down well that didn't appear to be a run blitz he just darted in once he saw the run develop that appeared to be a case of see ball get ball Here we go. Let's go. Come on tight. Come on tight. 
Play fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo. Rush coming, and he's taken down. The safety, Adrian Amos, comes crashing in for the sack. These strong safeties, some people may not realize it, it's really like an extra linebacker, right? It really is, because they're hybrids. Half linebacker, half defensive back. The linebacker in him on that play emerged. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. On third and long, it's Garoppolo. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath by all means. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. Tyler Irvin back deep. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. So here comes the Packers offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by Aaron Rodgers, a Northern Cal native, played his college football just across the bay at Berkeley. I would expect him to get a good reception being back in Absolutely. the home area, without a doubt. They remember how well he played for Cal. But think about how his pro career started. He thought he might be the first pick in the entire draft. Instead, Alex Smith was selected, and he went to San Francisco. He has to go all the way to 24, 24. before Green Bay grabs him. And there's a guy who's eventually going to be in the Hall of Fame, or eventually was going to be in the Hall of Fame, sitting in front of him. He had to sit for that time, had to learn, had to wait, had to burn for his opportunity. And once he got it, boy, did he make good on it. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And now the offensive starters for the Packers. It's tough to be an offensive lineman in Green Bay because their quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, knows how to keep plays alive and often extends them for three, four, five, six seconds. But David Bakhtiari, his left tackle, he does it as well as anyone could ever expect. Excellent footwork, knows that the plays are going to stay alive for a long time, often will get two or three blocks on the same play. Off the play fake to Jones, here's Rodgers. The 49ers get there. Nick Bosa in there to bury him for a loss of 11. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there's no way he was getting away on that one. Rodgers now, after the sack, he'll lead the pack up on third and long. From the gun, it's Rodgers. And the pressure gets to him again. D Ford providing a little deja vu, back-to-back -back sacks, and now they're staring at a fourth and long. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back coverage was very good yeah it was exactly as you would expect a passing down you bring in the nickel package just as you described the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback on fourth down jk scott ready to punt it away the speedster dante pettis back deep to return It's a 49-yard punt, but subtract nine there for the return. And the Niners will go on offense first and ten. 
And San Francisco gets set to go here. And hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. Here we go, here Good we go, starting go. field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 at their own 44. They begin the drive with Coleman. And this will be taken across midfield and into Green Bay territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Well, you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, go. we've been Wait. together for a while because you know me. Let's I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Man open, that's Debo Samuel. And he's got this down to the 35. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Back-to-back go, go. back good hey. plays have them on the move on first down. Head, head. On play action, it's Garoppolo. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. 15 for the Niners there and a first down. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. By 20! Watch the screen! They'll run on first down. Coleman, and yeah, just a couple yards there down to the 17. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there, but how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. Here we go. The last Three. run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Focus, defense, focus. And on second down, it's Coleman. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed here down go, hard go. there. He was Lucky. ready for that running play. I'm coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. Get hot. Get hot. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. So Garoppolo off. Coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. From the right hash, just a 34-yard attempt. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. And the 49ers take a 3-0 lead. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. See if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here too after a good stop. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. 
They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. And the 49ers on the defensive side of the football. Jakorski Tart came out of Samford University in Alabama. And he is a guy who is an absolute flash at the safety position. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now Rodgers. And this is caught. Mercedes Lewis with a grab. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. He's got Adams on the hookup. Well, forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Here's Rodgers. He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Sometimes the most effective routes are the ones that you run in the backyard. You probably ran them when you were five years old. How about a little curl there against zone? But the key to it is finding the open spots in the zone. How a linebacker or a defensive back will widen to give you space. Find that area and let your quarterback hit you. That was impressive to me because while it was a pass play, they still rallied to the football like they were filling running lanes and they were able to put the receiver on the ground. 49ers have an extra defensive back on the field. A nickel set for third down. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. Let's go. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Now a first down carry by Jones. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. That good for 19 and a first down. A much different second drive here, Charles. They go three and out the first time. This time they've been able to sustain something downfield. And that's what often happens. You get the game started. You know, you have to get your footing underneath you. You have to get used to the flow of the game, the speed of the game. And sometimes that first drive is more of a probing drive. It appears they found something here in the second one. Ready? Watch tight end. Watch tight end. Tight right. Tight right. Now Jones. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. And the ball smack dab on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Here's Rodgers to throw. This is caught. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Only able to pick up two, and that leads us to third and goal. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. The San Francisco defense trying to hold tough again. This is third and goal. It's caught here by Adams. 
And this one will wind up with him losing yardage. Back to the four-yard line. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop, but that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything, so it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. So on now for the Packers is their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And Crosby puts it through, and that will tie us at 3-3. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? Field goals all we've had so far. 3-3 now as the kick is away. This fielded at the two. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The San Francisco offense getting their last-minute instructions before they take over here. And last time able to get three. It's not what they wanted. They wanted six, but they got at least something. They mustered something out of the drive. They'll take it. Just, I, I like the way you've described it. Not ideal, but they'll take it. Anything to put some points on the board. But this time on offense, they don't even want to see the field goal kicker trot on the field. <laughs> they want that ball in the end zone. Yeah, they'll be going for six. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 26. Coleman, he takes this for three to the 29. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Here we go. The last Brady. run got three. Now here's second and seven. The former Purdue Boilermaker, Raheem Moster. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and go, make a go. play. But on that one, he looked check like man. one of those guys. Check curls, check curls, check curls. From the gun on third, Garoppolo completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And 21 yards there as they convert on third. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. Here we go, here we go, here so we go. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. <laughs> Garoppolo going to hand this one to Coleman. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Yeah, and that was a safety that came through and made the play. But there's no doubt in my mind, he hits like a linebacker. And we see a lot of that in today's NFL, don't we? And that time, we do indeed a big hit for a loss. Here we go. Wait, 80! 42! <laughs> On second and 12, Garoppolo. Blitz coming and down he goes. Dean Lowry just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. 
Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. There's the Washington Husky. It's Dante Pettis. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. They'll wind up with 17 on that one, but they're still a bit short here for fourth. Boy, they had a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big-time play for them. Nice completion, excellent gain. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, with that marker. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And in this first quarter of play, this will remain a tie ball game. Well, I was watching him in warm-ups, and he hit a 62-yarder that hit the crossbar and went over this one a little bit inside of that, but not enough leg. And the difference is what? Well, game. your live conditions, live right? Live conditions, game conditions are a whole lot different than practice, where you just pop it up there, no rush, no pressure. I think maybe that takes a couple of yards away from you when you have to do it when it's real. So good field position for the Packers as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Three, three, a tight one after one on EA Sports. of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. And they'll get this across midfield, but not nearly close to a first down as he stopped at the 48. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at the 20. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. All that, and it only nets him a yard. It's second down. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. But how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. And he's brought down after a very nice game. 
The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. I think it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now a give right side, Coleman. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, got to like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely. Pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, go, go, you take runs like that each and every time, won't you? On second and a couple, Garoppolo, and he hits his running back, Tevin Coleman. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Garoppolo hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. 8 of 10. It's first down. Garoppolo. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked out and incomplete. Jair Alexander that time able to knock that one away. It's always a battle. Who's going to win on first down? The offense or the defense? Let's face it. If you've got the ball, four yards or more on first down is what you're aiming for. They here tried go, to throw go. for it there. Nice effort to knock that one away and bring up second down. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Now Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 18 yards, first down Niners. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Wait, Amy! Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver. That makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. Zadarius Smith, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And he will find his receiver, Pettis, for a 49ers touchdown. Dante Pettis there to make the grab. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Well, that's what I call an answer right there. They gave up a sack on the previous play. How about what they did to finish things off, turning it right back around? That's the response, and that O-line feels a lot better now, don't they? Yeah, without a doubt, because give up the sack on the previous play, that just hurts those guys, because they never want to see their guy get hit. Gold with the extra point, and the lead is now 10-3. to that time, a nine-play drive, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco.
The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one taken from the seven. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. There to stop him on the defensive side, Fred Warner. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Throwing on second down, Rodgers. And all oh, this is taken in one-handed. What a catch. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. It's got to the point when we see guys like that make that type of a catch. Not fair goes through my brain. That size, that speed, and now they're acting like wide receivers, too. Yeah, yeah tight end one-handed catches. They're kind of like wide receiver one-handed catches nowadays. Just not right. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. Here's J.K. Scott now as he's on to punt for Green Bay. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. Set to take over again here on offense, Jimmy G and the 49ers. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Uh, he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. Here we go, here we go. The here we San go. Francisco hey. offense ready to start their next drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive, that culminating touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. It's so important to tackle well against these guys, but you and I both know that's easier said than done. When the guy you're trying to tackle looks like this guy and it's usually going to take more than one man to get him down and it did right there garoppolo now closing in on a 200 yard first half through the air it's first and ten here's coleman on the toss and he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves go, on, and they can run it back inside later. So don't say nothing. Stay hot. Stay hot. This is Mostert. Takes to midfield, but no further. Just a yard there. Now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Garoppolo now. Looking left side, he's got it, complete. Nine 
I know it's an emotional game, Charles. You can't do that. And when you get into your film sessions and you argue your case with your coaches, that's exactly what they say at the end. You just can't do it. It costs your team. Here's Garoppolo on first and ten. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 18 yards, first down, Niners. And with that completion, he's now north of 200 yards here in the first half. Boy, a tough start for the secondary defensively. It is, and it's got to put a dent in their confidence. And, you know, you always want to keep that up and feel like you can always bounce back after plays. But with the kind of numbers he's putting up here, it's starting to wear on them a little bit, I think. So they're looking at each other and trying to figure out what defense will work and how can they play better here we go, here we without go. getting beat hey. deep for big passes. Garoppolo now over 200 yards already in this first half. It's first and 10. Moster. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout, and we will. We've got an injured Packer on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. Eight yards, the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. This is Coleman. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He lost two there, and it's third down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Here we go. The Niners on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is third and four. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. Zadarius Smith able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. So Garoppolo off, coming on is the veteran Robbie Gold for the 49er field goal. This a 33-yard attempt. The kick by Gold is good. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown, but that's actually okay. They got three points, able to give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all, to me, that's a good drive. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at his four. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They trail by 10, 13-3 as they come up on a first and 10.
Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Rodgers throwing quickly out to Adams. And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And it'll bring up a second and 13. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Now Rodgers. He's got Lewis. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards the pick up there. The beauty of route running is it doesn't matter what position, everyone's doing the same thing. In this case, tight end selling the vertical route. Get the defensive back on his heels, break off for the corner. And with good timing, you get a completion as we just saw there. Try the jet sweep here. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Anytime the offense shows what they call a shot play or a chunk play where they're trying to get big yardage, sometimes people just call it gadget plays, and you hold it to a gain that we just saw there, you feel pretty good about yourself as a defense. Let's go, defense. We need to On second down, it's Jones. And he's taken down inside the 30. 14 yards, good for a Packer first down. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. After the run by Jones, here's first and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. Stopped at the 24-yard line after a gain of five. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. The Packers on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and six. From the gun, it's Rodgers. To Valdez Scantling over the middle. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. The kick by Crosby is good, and they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13-6. to No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. 
That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. Here comes Jimmy Garoppolo now to lead his offense back out there. He's played a pretty clean first half, a touchdown, no interceptions. Frankly, that's what they expect out of him. They want to see the ball thrown and thrown well, and he's able to do that and put it in the end zone. They'd love to see more of that before this game finishes. But right now, he's got his team in a good spot. A good spot. Maybe looking for touchdown pass number two here in the second here quarter. We go, here we go. Garoppolo hey. going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard <laughs> line. And the drive starts with a handoff to Coleman. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Throwing now is Garoppolo. He's got the first down and more past midfield. Past the 20. Touchdown, 49ers. Jimmy Garoppolo with his second touchdown pass of this first half. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly for six. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Now gold for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. He's going to be stopped here with a penalty marker on the field. I'm not sure what this is about. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that one looked pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a 5-yard or a 15-yard inadvertent or not. Now, it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time, and they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Ball on the 42 as they come up second and 10. Rodgers now, throwing again. Funches has it complete. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. From midfield, here's Rodgers. And that's complete to Lewis. 
And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. It's a gain of 26 as they pick up the first down of the process. As far as tight ends go, this guy's not a speed burner. He's much more of an inline blocking type of a tight end. But how about this last play? Made a nice catch and picked up a first down. That's what impresses me about him. When he's called upon, usually gets it done. Rodgers now 14 out of 17, 82%, and it's first and 10. Rodgers to throw once more, and that's complete to Adams. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. To throw again on second down, Rodgers, and an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. It's been my observation, there's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. And Adams has it, good play. Now the Packers gonna go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Three red zone trips have yielded just two field goals for them to this point, so they'll be searching for something more on second and goal here. Rodgers again now. He hauls it in. Valdez Scantling for the Packers touchdown. Four yards on the touchdown grab as his guys are back within a single score. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. On is Mason Crosby for the point after. It's up and good, a seven point margin. It's 20 to 13 now. So that drives seven plays in length and it ends with a Packers touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. There's Dante Pettis as his guys head back out onto the field. We're in the second quarter. He already has two touchdowns. We know how good he is. That's well documented. How do you contain him? We know he's a nightmare. So in this situation, I would go ahead and double him, maybe even have a third person in the area, and try and dissuade them from throwing him the football. Make someone else beat me for a while, because I don't know that their talents are his, because when he gets his hands on the ball, he breaks down my entire D. Someone else, they may not make the same type of a play. Well, we know his talents are very good. <laughs> on first down, Garoppolo. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Wow. 
Right, Here's here a go, second here and two Ready? now from the 33. Garoppolo looks to throw. Going underneath, it's Coleman. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they'll stop it with 40 seconds remaining in this first half. Back-to-back go, back go. good plays have them on the move on first down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Packer pressure, and down he goes. Zadarius Smith bringing the pressure yet again. That's his third sack here tonight. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Garoppolo, a final shot here before half. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome, everybody, to our abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This fielded at the two. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Here's Rodgers. It's caught here by Adams. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Here's Rodgers to throw. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, a ball may come your way. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. 
Working from the gun. Rodgers. Complete. This is Lewis. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 17 yards on the play there as the Packers have the first down as well. One well, of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. So first and 10 now from the 30. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. It's caught by Funches. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Give him 15 there, and the Packers have a first. Well, they obviously read man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro, bro, bro. Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, then he curls back inside for the completion. Rodgers will bring him up to the line, first and ten. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Out of the shotgun, it's Jones. And they get to him quickly here as he's stopped right around the 13. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. A good looking drive for the Packers so far. It's a first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. Play fake here on first down. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Nick Bosa, his second sack of the night. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player, disruptive in all phases, whether he's going upfield, coming underneath, you name it. He's a big-time guy you have to block. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. This is Jones. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Make it now three tackles for a loss in this game, one for each quarter. And for a guy who played defense in college, I can just tell you, that he's feeling very satisfied right now by what he's doing, but he's elated because he knows what he's doing is helping his team win the game right now, making some big time plays, getting into the offense's backfield and spilling everything. So third and goal and the 49er faithful making some noise for their defense. Shotgun now for Rodgers. He hauls it in. Valdez Scantling for the Packers touchdown. Marquez Valdez Scantling, his second touchdown of the night, as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? You know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where would you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and, you, and, oh, it's blocked. Picked up by the offense. This is a live ball.
So with a missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. Here's a look at the 49ers offense as they make their way out for their first possession of the second half. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their own 23. Here's Moster. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, Creases tend to develop as the game go, moves go, on, and they can run it back inside later. On second down now, it's Coleman. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. It looks like the Packers have added an extra DB on third down. You got nothing. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Here we go, here so we go. from the 36 hey. now, first and 10. I'm on, I'm on. Here's Coleman, and the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't here happen go, on go, that here play. Go. Oh, here we go. Oh. From the 38, Garoppolo. And this one taken in on the right sideline, but not in the field of play. They say it's incomplete. The throw led him a little too far. It brings up third down. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And uh, who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. We well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Dean Lowry able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. Here comes the 49ers punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this is away, it's a high kick, and he got all of it. And a nice job here to down this one right on the five-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. The Packers offense now heading back out onto the field. Break the. Let's go, Heavy. Let's go, Heavy. Heavy, what you got? What you got, Heavy? What you got, Heavy? Give me something. We need you. 
They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, and that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends. They're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. And this is going to double their room to maneuver, able to get it from the 5 to the 10-yard line. I think we can safely say that those types of players are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. An extra DB for the 49ers now on third. Go. Go. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Caught left side by Funches. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Here's J.K. Scott now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Now it appears we're going to get whistles and a stop. A man down on this. the return. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Now this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack, and guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. Right back to Coleman here on first down. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Pardon, I remember a coaching friend of mine used to tell his running backs before games, make sure you run and jog with your offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking when those big behemoths start to create space for you up front. He did a pretty good job of just following those guys through there for a nice explosive run. On second and very short, Garoppolo. It's caught by Coleman. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go with a football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. Here we go, here so we go. you're able to just what get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. Garoppolo now, first down throw. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Debo Samuel was the intended receiver, but it's going to be second down. I remember a coach told me a long time ago the difference between playing corner and safety in the NFL. Corner is like the Autobahn. Everybody just flying by, and these corners have been really busy in this game, although they got it done on the last play. On the last play, yes, but there have been some good numbers put up against them offensively. On second and ten, Garoppolo. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 22 yards there, a first down. 
And passing yardage-wise, now up over 350 in this game. Pretty nice performance. Definitely that, which usually means you're putting a lot of pressure on guys trying to cover. If you're a defensive back and they put over 350 yards on you, you've had a long day. The key to everything, if you're doing it without throwing interceptions or turning the ball over. Garoppolo, five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. Coleman now. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Here we go, here we go. Black 80! From the gun, it's Garoppolo. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. They could not contain Kenny Clark as he gets home for the sack. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. Try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Now Garoppolo. And he's going to go down again. Preston Smith comes in for the sack. Second goal, last thing you need to do is get pushed backwards to take a sack. But he couldn't find anywhere to go with the football. Had to eat it and ended up on the ground. They need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Play fake there to Coleman. Now Garoppolo looking for the end zone. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. We well, bounced up after taking a sack and took a shot downfield. I think a lot of us thought maybe he'd run draw in that situation instead. Tried to get all back in one play. Yeah, third and long, thought he needed the deep pass, couldn't connect it. Maybe he was hoping for a penalty downfield to give him the yardage they needed. And Gold is able to put it through. And that'll move their lead up to four now. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Aaron Rodgers, he's getting ready to go again here on offense. And do you think he personally is evaluating his game so far? He was pretty good in the first half, been good so far here in the third quarter. He's got to like it, right? Not looking for the dramatics here. Not trying to set the world on fire in terms of stats. It's almost like you're driving. Hands at 10 and 2, alert for anything <laughs> out there, watching for trouble on the road, and making sure you get the team home. The bus driver. See if he can drive the bus here again on this drive. On first down, Rodgers. Got an open man. It's Valdez Scantling. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. 
And he's certainly been a huge factor in this one. He's got the two touchdowns to his credit. Now they look to him again. He picks up the first. Yeah, I can hear everyone saying, well, why don't you cover him? Double him, triple him, do what you have to do. But sometimes they get locked into such a groove and such a connection, it doesn't matter how many guys are in his area. He certainly looks to be in that groove right now. The big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Rodgers now to throw. Quick hitter here. It's complete. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync stayed in great communication and as he dragged across each zone you see him pointing communicating there he is and they passed him off to each defender ended up making a nice play even though it was complete and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage this will be a two-yard loss on the play and all of a sudden here it's third down and the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. These guys have punted four times already and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. He's got Adams on the hookup. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 30. If you're going to blitz, likely going to leave you in man coverage with this guy, and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him, even if he has an elite defender on him, because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Jones. And the tackle there by Quan Alexander. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll go again to Jones. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a game of three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Now it's Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they like some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. Rodgers going to go on fourth down. He's got his man, Valdez Scantling. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 16. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. 58. Let's go. Let's go. On first down, Jones. He's down inside the 10 to the 8, and it comes on a gain of 8. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Again, it's Jones. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. 
I know they've got to be careful not to go to the well too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. Rodgers looking to throw on third and two. And Adams has it. Good play. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you could actually be pushed back before the first down. He's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. From the shotgun, to give to Jones. And the hole closes quickly here. He can fight only to about the four. Only a yard that time, second and goal. But that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. One back in the game. That's Jones, second and goal. They get it to him running left. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. He lost four there, and it's third down. The short field shrinks even more with the type of bodies they brought in on that play. Those extra tight ends, they weren't able to secure their blocks, and that one ended up going backwards. This has been a long drive. You gotta figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? From the gun, it's Rodgers. He'll get this off to Jamal Williams. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. A great job to hold him to just a yard there. Now it's fourth and goal. Well, partner, they're still gonna have to go for it after that play and I'm not sure that the running game is going to be a part of what they have to do on fourth down now. From this far out, you wouldn't think so. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And Crosby puts it through. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So with that field goal, this one's now back within a field goal. Maybe not the ultimate result they wanted, but gets them that much closer. This game is unfolding like a really good book, isn't it? Because I feel like there's a few more plot twists yet to be revealed before this one is over. After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Tevin Coleman and the rest of the offense making their way back out. And as we peer at the numbers, he got off to a struggling start, but since then really found his rhythm. And I think that comes together with not just the halftime adjustments, but just that quiet confidence. If you just keep doing the things you've been working on, eventually there will be creases. You know, find those gaps in the defense, keep working on them, and maybe what didn't happen very well for you in the beginning of the game, it starts to open up as the game moves on. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. I guess the good news as they start this drive is that they, they still do have the lead, Charles. If their defense hadn't been able to hold them to a field goal on the other side, they'd be down. But now it's about preserving that very small lead. It is preserving and maybe stretching it out a little bit. Because if you're a starter on that side of the ball, 
I certainly hope you didn't loosen up your shoulder pads or start to cut the tape off because if you My did, you did it way too soon. They've got to go back out there with renewed vigor, for lack of a better term, and also a good plan. They need points and they need them now. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. George Kittle, the receiver that he was looking for, and it's third and short. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you Here know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman, and he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. Here we go, so here from go. the 39 hey. now, they'll come up on a first and 10. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Play action, Garoppolo. This is Coleman with a grab. He'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. Garoppolo now. A perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. To throw, it's Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And he's corralled at the 40, but not before picking up 8. A good pick up there. 8 yards on the first down completion. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pick up on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he stopped immediately there. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, to stop them, here we go, here get we go. to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. Kevin Coleman. 41 yards, and the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Well, they were just hoping that run would pick up the first. They got the whole enchilada. And I'm so used to teams on third down, doesn't matter how far they need for a first down, throwing the ball. Instead, they run it, and as you said, picked up the first down, and then some, and then some. <laughs> In fact, everything, all the way for a touchdown. Terrific play. Gold to add the extra point. And with that, the lead is up to eight. So this drive spans seven plays, and Tevin Coleman polished it off with a touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. Let's go! 
The Packer offense now ready to get back onto the field. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point? The kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Bashed it. <laughs> Super tough. <laughs> Rodgers now on first down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. First play of the drive in their hip pocket. Of course, the focus here has to be the touchdown of the two-point conversion. Field goals aren't going to help you. Yeah, but how about that first play of the drive? Just to get them started, nice gain, got some positive momentum going. They're on their way, and they don't have to rush. A big hitter to start the drive has them up near midfield here for first and ten. Working from the gun, Rodgers. Funches has it complete. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 11 yards and a Green Bay Packer first down. When we see another great performance like this out of Aaron Rodgers, you have to chuckle thinking that his only FBS offer was a walk-on at Illinois. And now he's the pride of Butte Junior College, of course at Cal. And I remember watching him play at Cal and he would run seven-on-seven -seven drills. Angry if the ball ever hit the ground and he didn't do it very often. Rodgers' throw is taken in by Jones. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be second and 12. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. Rodgers to throw once more. Open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantley. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Rodgers to throw on third and one. He'll get this to Jay Kumaro. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 21. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to dock the ball away. Rodgers will bring him up to the line first and 10. And he's hit on all five of his pass attempts on this drive so far. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. Well, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player, not a chance at all. Way easier said than done. From the 21, it's second and 10. To throw again. Rodgers. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. This drive, which was going so smoothly, all of a sudden it's a little bit of a roadblock here with two straight incompletions. Yeah, apparently this defense has had enough. Apparently they're saying, no more. We're speaking a stand right here, right now. But it is third and ten. They've got to get after him one more time. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Alan Lazard there to make the grab. As they now sit just a two-point conversion away from tying this game up in the fourth quarter. 
And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. So here we go. The Packers will line up to go for two. And again, it's Rodgers. That's caught at the one. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Still time to work with on the clock, but they wanted the tie now, and they got it. And I love their aggressiveness. Go ahead and get it done. Get the game tied. Now your team has the momentum, and you're staring across the field saying, let's see if you can match us. So here comes the kickoff now, all even here in this fourth quarter. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Tevin Coleman and the rest of the offense making their way back out. He's been a good workhorse. I know we use the word workhorse a lot, but he's been a good workhorse for him in this one. No doubt about it, and there's nothing wrong with that. That's what you're looking for if you're back, because that means everything's coming together for you. The big guys up front have created space. You've run through it. And you've probably gotten some help even from the wide receivers who want to catch passes as opposed to block, yeah, go, but they're helping go, out too. Yeah, everyone's pitching in. He's had a good game. Garoppolo going to bring the Niners up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Now a good running play here to start the drive. That'll net them 14 yards as they pick up the first. First down San Francisco, the pick up 14 yards. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On play action, now Garoppolo. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. He was hoping to get that one to Tevin Coleman in space. That'll bring up second down. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. Here we go, here so we go. line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. They fake the give. Now Garoppolo looks to throw. He's going to go for a big play. To, and that's caught inside the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Give him 32 on the play. Offense just continues to reign supreme. Big plays, both sides, back and forth. Tough to keep track of. It certainly is, and I'm over here just marveling at what I'm seeing. It's tough for you, though. You've got to call all these big plays and have all this emotion each time they go at each other. So a challenge is upon us. I tell you, close game, fourth quarter. This is a huge decision. Oh, no doubt about that, partner. A lot has to be riding on this call. And you know it is a tight one because it has to be indisputable visual evidence in order to change it now here's the big question do they actually have that evidence I'm about to find out the head coach relied on his eagle eye in the sky to make the right call and was told to challenge it and it looks like it's paid off. And from a coach's standpoint, when you throw that flag, it's probably a pretty tense moment here, go, here, here it go, here pays go. off. Yeah, you have that little bit of indecision. You throw it where you feel like you're right, and then you think, uh-oh, did I get it right? In this case, they can celebrate. Brought down that time by Christian Kirksey. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. They will run again with Coleman. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the red zone here at the 22-yard line. 
And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Garoppolo going to try and throw on third. And this is going to be incomplete. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man open for a first down. Threw a fastball when that wasn't necessary. Incomplete pass. One of these quarterbacks going to learn. You don't get extra points for how hard you throw the football. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to break our fourth quarter time. The kick by Gold is good. And with that, they will move out in front by three. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded at the six. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Now the Packers get set to go. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Touchdown, defense. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Boom! That's how we do it! And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle throwing is Rodgers and on the left sideline he caught it but out of bounds according to the headlinesman incomplete so the ball a little late getting there and it's third down before the game they were running the route tree about as efficiently and effectively as we could have possibly imagined, but sometimes the passes just go awry. Yeah, let's face it, when you're running the route tree in pregame, you don't have defenders breathing down your neck, you don't have defensive backs making plays on the football, hard to replicate the intensity of the game. It and oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman, and they will set up shop at their own 41-yard line. Well, Brandon, there's no question who they're going to look to on third and long, but you can bet this defense knows that as well, so they've got him blanketed downfield. And this ball winds up being intercepted. The 49ers offense making its way back out there. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's yeah. just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Go, yeah, no go, quarterback go. ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. They'll start out on the ground with Coleman. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. 
Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Check three, check three, check three. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Coleman. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So it's 49er football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On third down, here's Coleman. And he will have the first down as he gets this to the 47. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Not go, totally go. home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now Mostert. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. Here we go. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. On second down, it's Coleman. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Now the Packers are going to burn their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And the line to gain here is the 37 on third down. They'll keep it on the ground. Coleman. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on here to punt it away. And that is much too long. That's Two into the end zone for a touchback. Let's go. So now Rodgers in the pack. Down by a field goal. A minute four on the clock. Now they need, at minimum, three points out of this as they come up first and ten. Start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I know a lot of people won't like the draw called in that situation, but every now and then, that pops big. In this case, it didn't happen. Rodgers in control as he hurries his guys to the line. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Jones, and this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play there, and now it'll be third down. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. They'll look to throw. It's caught here by Adams. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. Here 
Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gauden. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.